You ask, is my mother-in-law one of my spirit guides? She passed in January. I miss her tremendously, but she comes in my dreams. No, 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 my dear, not at this time. At this time, she's going through processing, if you will. She's going through what I like to call climatization. When we leave this body, the first thing we do is pop into fourth dimensional reality, which is like the birth canal zone or the death canal zone. We enter into a realm that looks a lot like Earth, but is not Earth. It's more subtle, it's of a different vibration, it's 4D. And in 4D there is a portal. There's what we call the light. And then once we go into the light, we end up being processed because in order to occupy whatever space we are entering into from there, call that heaven, call that oneness, call it whatever you like, but in order to be a match for that energy, we have to have a light body. We have to have um, the right energy. We have to be a match for it. And many people, when they lived on earth, they lived hard lives. They lived addictive lives. They lived sick lives. They lived um, confusing lives, just all kinds of experiences. And for some people, it actually takes a bit of time to be climatized to this new dimensional reality and to understand everything that's going on. For others, those we would call old souls, it actually doesn't take that long. We kind of get into the fourth dimension and we're like, awesome, I know exactly what to do. And then we just kind of dive in through the, the stargate and we end up in wherever we're supposed to go with not a whole lot of adjustments. Um, but what I sense about your mother-in-law is that she's processing and she's getting on her um, new light body. She's checking out the situation. She's aligning herself with all the soul group communities that exist in that other reality. And she's just, she's doing that. And so the dreams are wonderful. That's actually quite fast for a departed loved one to come through and to see you through dreams. Now the dream mechanism is the easiest way for departed loved ones to interact with us. It's just easy for them to kind of just pop into the chute of the seventh chakra and also eight through 12, just to pop into the chute and right into our dreams, right into our experience and commandeer those dreams. And so then we have this wonderful experience with them where it really, really feels, doesn't it? Like we've spent time with them, like we've been there with them. Um, and so that's the easiest way for her right now to connect with you. The question here is, is she's going to return after processing climatization, all that she goes through, is she going to return to act as one of your guides? And to that, I would say yes. To that, I would say yes. And I would also like to say to you, know this, anytime we think on, and, and you, you notice I'm over my heart, which is not where we, which, which is not where we think we think, <laughs> but the heart has its own intelligence, doesn't it? It has its own language. And when we think on our departed loved ones in, in a loving way, where our heart is actually activated, I'm thinking about my mama. Mama, I love you so much. I miss you so much. What a friend you were to me. And I feel that. It actually activates a portal right there in your heart. And it's as if you picked up a phone and you rang them wherever they are and whatever stage they're in of processing. And it's actually energetically a cord, just as we have a silver cord that connects us to our light bodies and so on. This portal opens up and connects us through a cord to wherever they are in heaven, whatever that is. They pick up that phone and they actually use that cord, that energetic channel to travel back to us in the physical. So what I'm saying to you is, if you ever wanna talk to your departed loved one, if you ever wanna be with your departed loved one, get into your heart. Think about them, feel them in the energy, love them, talk to them from there, not from the mind. And they, tr they ride the channel right into your space. You can be confident that they're there with you. They literally are there with you. I was just saying that about my mom with meaning and she traveled that cord and here she is with me. My mother is one of my guides. And so yes, I do believe that that's gonna be the case for you, but she's with, she's with you whenever you think on her, whenever you love on her, when it, whenever you align to her energy and her substance, she is with you. And she can come back in the future in a greater capacity to help you with your work. Are you concerned? Are you wondering? Are you curious about your work? What you're here to do? Because my dear, you have something to do. You, are, you have healing ability. You are intuitive. And it's helpful when you have gifts and talents such as you do to have friends in spirit who can facilitate your process. So she does end up acting in one of these roles. But I would say probably after a year. Probably after a year. Remember, 45D. 
uh, 5D and beyond, there's no time. And so her life review, she might be going through a life review, might be one full year for us, but a blink of an eye for her. So it's just a bit different. Give it a little time um, and just enjoy the dreams while you have them. A lot of people don't really get those visitation dreams and they wish that they could. So.